What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. In the background, you are going to be watching a flawless free-for-all on Aquarium. I'll set up the gameplay just a little bit and you guys can watch. Uh, I was in a gameplay previously on EVAC and there was some guy talking smack. He ended up the, the free-for-all, I think, 9 and 16 and he told me the only reason why he didn't do well was because he was on the phone with his girlfriend. I was like, okay, please stay in the game and I'll show you what I can really do in free-for-all. So I took my time and I annihilated him. <laughs> kind of mean, I know, I know, but just watch. I'm running the Razorback, I'm going full try hard. I think I'm running the, what, the UAV, the Cerberus, and the Raps, and I just absolutely destroy this lobby. And I take my time, okay? I want you to know that. I'm not rushing. I specifically did this just to get this guy to shut up. And of course, after the game, he quit. All right, enjoy. <laughs> I gotta tell you this, so I saw a couple videos here recently about the COD killer. What game is gonna kill COD, or is COD gonna kill itself? No. There is no COD killer on the market. There never has been. And let me tell you why, okay? Let's look at this from a logical standpoint. People talk about Battlefield, what is it gonna be, number five? There's some World War II shooter coming, Titanfall Part Two. Uh, what was the other one? There was another one that's coming on the market. They think that Infinite Warfare is going to be bad. That it's just going to kill itself. Let me tell you, Call of Duty is a lot like baseball. Baseball, in my opinion, is an individual team sport. Seems like an oxymoron, right? But there is individual performance within the team. So when you get up to bat, it is on you. You're there to do well. You, your teammates aren't going to hit for you. When you're in the field and a ball's hit to you, only you can field the ball or catch that ball or throw that ball. Now you rely on the teammate that you're gonna throw the ball to or if you're not in the position where the ball's hit, you're relying on your teammate to do their part. Or when you're not up to bat, you're relying on your teammate to get a hit. Or when you're on the base and you need your teammate to hit you in, you're relying on them to get a hit so you can run the bases. But it's individual performances based within a team. It's not like say soccer or football where you are relying on your teammates to do certain things for you to progress the ball down the field. Call of Duty is very similar. It is a team sport in a way, because if you're playing in objective mode, you're relying on your teammates to cap objectives and do certain things on the map, but it's individual performance which drives the gameplay for you, i.e. score streaks. If Battlefield or Titanfall or one of these other games wants to compete against Call of Duty, if you truly, or Doom, that was the other one I was thinking of, if you want to beat Call of Duty, you have to reward individual performance with score streaks and kill streaks. Until a game adapts to that, nothing will kill Call of Duty. And as long as Call of Duty continues to offer incentives to doing well in the game, nothing will ever kill COD. Gun on gun gunplay gets boring which is one of the reasons why Star Wars Battlefront did not work as well as many people thought it would. If you did kill streaks and you earned heroes like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader, then people would perform better in the game and it could possibly kill Call of Duty because it's that reward that drives our inner self, our competitive self, to get better and to play the game more. So COD Killer on the horizon? No, not yet. Could happen if they make individual incentives within the team atmosphere. I hope that helps, just a different perspective on it. As always, if you like the gameplay, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one, bye.